Whether it was meeting President Obama or passing the state's first no-call list two decades ago, State Senator John Erpenbach has left his mark on Wisconsin politics. He announced today this coming year is his last. Erpenbach won't seek re-election next fall. Naomi Coles has more. Erpenbach has been elected six times to the state Senate beginning in 1998. His district spans Western Dane County and parts of Green, Iowa, Sauk, and Columbia counties. He's left a lasting mark on this area and the last quarter of a century in Wisconsin politics. Back to the From the very first election um, night story. Seeing my name come across the crawl at the bottom uh, on election night say, saying I had won. To his reflection of politics right now. now. And in order for democracy to really survive, we have to have a two-party strong system. Senator John Erpenbach's political career, spanning nearly a quarter century, will soon end. It's not so much retiring, I'm just not going to be a state senator anymore. He says it's not the politics of the moment, just a sense that this chapter is closing. It's one of those things where once it gets in your mind that maybe you don't want to do something you've been doing for the last 24 years, it's probably time to stop doing what you've been doing the last 24 years. Erpenbach got his first career highlight in 2001 when his bill created the no-call list in Wisconsin, which helped forge the federal version. Another federal precursor, Healthy Wisconsin, legislation that predated and helped inform Obamacare. He was also one of 14 senators who left the state to stall Act 10 legislation in 2011. He's very smart, he's very even-tempered, and you, you put those two things together and you have one heck of a statesman. Along with minority leader Janet Buley, so Erpenbach is one of the most powerful Democrats in the Capitol. The man has been in the majority and the minority, so he knows what it's like to be in both columns. But at the end of the day, for him... District. I got a great district. It's beautiful. It's the heartbeat of the state. It all begins at home. That is the best part about the job is just driving around the district and being constituents and, and working with them on issues they care about. Sit down with me and Senator Erpenbach this Sunday on For the Record after Face a Nation. He'll reflect on a long and colorful career and the stories that helped shape it.